In this unit, we're going to look at some simple controls in Visual Studio. We're going to start with the checkbox uh, and work through the radio boxes and some other controls. So I've created a new Windows project here. And I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to look through my boxes here in checkbox. Checkboxes are controls where multiple ones can be selected at the same time. Um, I'm going to just put out two tech checkboxes. Put out two labels here so that I can record what about what whether or not the checkboxes are um, checked or not. Um, we can check. I'm not going to change the names of each of these uh, in here. So the checkbox one will just be called checkbox one, and same with checkbox two. And I'm not going to even change the label. Label one and label two is just fine. Um, I'm going to show you there's an event that's uh, generated whenever we click and change the status of a checkbox, and that's the default event. So if I double click on the checkbox, it'll go into that event checkbox one underscore checked changed. And there's a check event. So I can check here, I can check if it's checked. So I can just write an if then statement if, and then write the name of my checkbox check checkbox one uh, dot and there's an event checked uh, I mean a, an attribute checked and that's either true or false and then depending on that value I can do something so I'm just gonna put in label one label one dot text uh, and I'm just gonna say uh, box one checked and I'm gonna add an else here so I just added in an else here and said else uh, change the label to box one not checked and I can do the same thing for the other checkbox I can go back here and check uh, this event um, you don't always have to do it under the check event. You might have it somewhere else. Uh, so maybe at the end of the form you have a submit button or some a calculate button or whatever, and then you can check the status of it. But I just wanted to show you that for every checkbox, there is this uh, event that fires to change whenever the check is changed, and there is this attribute that you can check a check by any checkbox and see if it's checked or not. Those are two very useful features. So let me just add in this other um, if then else. So I've just uh, repeated the same code, just changing it to checkbox 2, seeing if that is checked, and then using label 2 to print out uh, to display the status of that. Now if I run this, uh, I can click in either box, and it can turn. And one thing I, I could say, checkboxes are independent. You can have them both checked or neither one checked. So they're both running independent as far as checkboxes go. Um, one other thing is you might want to start and have a tech checkbox uh, check to start with. Um, see neither one is checked so you can actually go right into your form and um, here you can set with one and again that's just the checked attribute uh, so I can make checkbox one if I wanted that one checked I can just switch that to true uh, and then when we run it that one will be checked by default. I can also you know initialize these labels text values to different things if I wanted but you know, it'll change. Okay, so that's the, the basics of a checkbox.